Hey guys, welcome back to another episode in Le Lego. I almost just said Lego Star Wars uh, Jedi Fallen Order. In Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. So what in those pipe might be wondering. Basically, we uh, we met Cal Kestis, a scrapper on, a pla on the planet Baraka, who uh, used to be a Jedi, we found out. Well, we already assumed so, and we knew by the promo art. But, you know, um... Now, quickly, uh, also we uh, we so we were on this train. We were we 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 were with this guy Prof, who is our like friend and uh, co, co co worker and shit. Uh, he then you know we then got the tra our train we were on got stopped by uh, the Empire. We then uh, well, he then uh, Prof then got killed by the uh, second sister, who is an Imperial Inquisitor, due to us being. Uh, you know, because they found they knew there was a Jedi on the planet Bracker, so they were looking for him, and then they found us. So, yeah. Uh, now, fun, funnily enough, when I actually first recorded this video, uh, when I loaded into the game, I save broke for a second. There was no audio, so my game broke when I loaded into the game. Um, like there was no audio at all. So, like what you're hearing now, what you should be hearing now, this was not. There was nothing. It was literally muted. It was so awkward. Uh, thankfully, there's audio now, but uh, let's begin, shall we? So, let's continue, shall we? So, um, oh yeah, we were saved by um, Sia Junda, who, I don't know where Sia is, she's somewhere, and um, Grease, I believe his name was, Grease something, I don't remember what his name is, right, okay. So let's go over this way and um, speak to Grease. Not now, I got work to do. Let's not speak to Grease. Okay. There's a hollow table thing. Um, ooh, plant. Other plant. Venture. Right, okay, I don't, I don't know where to go. <laughs> oh, I've just been this way, so it's not, it's probably not obvious way. So let's go this way and see if there's anything over. Here. Also, um, for anyone wondering why have I been like spam uploading um, the patient, the interview tapes in Arkham City? Yeah, j yeah just cause. Yeah, just cause. Um, what do I need to do? <laughs> Shit. Yeah, well, he's busy. So we're not doing anything with you. Can I? Can I play the banjo? No. Okay. Can I do anything? <laughs> What's up? Plant here. Yeah. If the game broke again, I'm gonna cry because this this game is just this game has broken a few times when I played it, but never at this bit. Oh no, it's back. There we go. I uploaded on. I remember it having something to do with this banjo. object and witness events connected to it. You feel its history. It's an echo in the force from the object. Well, not many Jedi have that skill. How would you know that? I was once a Jedi, but not anymore. Do I know you? No, but I knew your master, Gerald DePaul. He was a true guardian of the Republic. He was a hero. Listen. Something happened to me during the purge. I survived, but my connection to the Force is damaged. When I meditate, if I let my guard down, I lose control. And it's like I'm back in that moment when... You survived, Cal. And you're not alone. Not anymore. We come up on our destination. Oh 
Bagano. This is Bagano. A Jedi I knew discovered it before the purge. You won't find it on any maps. The Empire doesn't know this place exists. No. So, what's the plan? We hide out here? We're done hiding, Cal. See that structure over there? I believe that vault holds the key to rebuilding the Jedi Order. But it requires someone strong in the Force to pass its test. And since you're not a Jedi anymore, that's why you need me. I know you don't trust me. And I'm not really sure I trust you. But we have a common enemy. And a common cause. I'll share more of my plan after you reach the vault. But, until then, there's someone here I think you should meet. May the Force be with you. Ready. Guess I'm looking for a Jedi then. But if there's already one here, why does Seer need me? Oh shit. This okay. Like a safe place to oh, okay. I did not die. Okay. Yeah. R three to meditate. Okay. Uh, safe points are located. Safe points. Safe points are located throughout uh, throughout Cal's journey. Make sure to interact with them to save your progress. Save points are where Cal can rest and spend skill points to acquire new skills. Because this game has a skill tree. So, yes. So, um, we can get overhead slash. It unlocks powerful strike that is deadly against weaker enemies. Does that? It's cool. Uh, there's a few others. You got, like, uh, empowered slow, which holding. Slow allows Cal to slow his target for a longer duration. Force attune. Cal's maximum force in is increased. Survival skills. Cal's maximum life is increased. Okay. And then I can rest where I get... St uh, I think my stem resets. Uh, we, we get that in a bit, though. And my health. And then leave. Just go, lets me go back into the game. One of my favorite droids, BD-1. Hey, BD-1. I'm Cal. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. I'm just I'm looking for someone. No, not you. I'm searching for a, a Jedi, I think. Hold on. Y you know the Jedi? What do you know? Wait, hold on. Did you just slice that? Thanks. Okay. So yeah, BD-1, my favorite droid in this. One of my favorite droids in the Star Wars series. That's the Vault Seer mentioned. Whoever I'm supposed to find must be waiting there. Actually, my favorite droid in the entire series. Like, in, in the entire Star Wars franchise. Uh, your crew objective can always be seen on BD-1's map. Okay. Try experimenting with the whole map controls. So L left stick to move, R R1 and L2 to zoom out. Left stick to move and to rotate is the right stick. And there's the mantis there. Is that Dorival? Apparently, yes. The whole map can also show unexplored paths on important objects. Unexplored path, unexplored path. Close whole map when ready to proceed. I don't remember which way to go, but we'll, uh... something over here. Apologies for the frame problems. This game does have frame issues. Yeah, really big bug. Yeah. 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 is one of these planets that I just don't. I'm not a fan of because the the, the bugs are terrifying. The big <laughs> creepy. Um, right, let's go this way. Cause my assumption is I'm gonna go this way. Ah, oh crap! I think it's what they called. Sense echo. So 
something happened here. It was after boggling eggs in the pack pot back. Oh, okay. Dead splocks. Okay. Through a through a uh, rare ability so known as Psychotrim Psycho right, Cal can retrieve information from the force when he touches certain items. Okay. Um, so, right, well, I guess it's not this way because um, I can't go anywhere. Oh shit! Can't go anywhere else from there. So, by process of elimination, BD1 is busy. Doing what? <laughs> BD1. Oh, there you go. Any ideas? Gotta get across this gap somehow. Zipline? <laughs> oh yeah. Fuck yeah. Whoa! One sec, BD1, I'm just meditating. Right, so I can try rest now. Yeah, so rest. Your life and force have been restored. Enemies have respawned. Yeah, so enemies do, like, respawn. So you've taken out any enemies and then you rest while meditating. You know that would enemies work? you've taken out will respawn. Wait, you didn't? The door is locked from the other side. Well, that's, that's not far. That's not great. Um. Careful over there. That doesn't look safe. Just like back at the scrapyard. Oh yeah, fuck him up, BD1. Yeah, fuck him up, fuck him up. Oh, oh shit. Okay, that 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 took a, that, that took a twist. Ow. Oh. D die. Yes. He's dead. BD1. Oh shit. Okay, BD1. Wait. Okay, BD1. Hey, that was pretty brave. You okay? Wait. I can help you with that. Will you let me? Oh. <laughs> okay. BD1 is so cute. Mm. Well, this complex is busted, but this should help you get moving for now. Okay. Try that. Yeah, that's where I was headed too. Okay, well, first we gotta figure out a way out of this place. Well, PD1, teleportation, fancy. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, here we go. So we can customize our lightsaber. So we can have like, we can change its like color and stuff. However, I don't think I can, uh, I can. So I can have it as blue, green, or I can have it as the premium content, orange. Now we're gonna have it as blue just because blue is one of my favorite colors of it. We can also have a different, um, uh, a different lightsaber like um, emitter. We can have a different switch. We can have a different sleeve. We can have a different material. However, I'm going to keep it the same. I'm going to keep it the same for, uh, for right now. Because, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, BD, that's a little small for me. Yeah. Don't worry. I'll find my own way out. Oh. Tight fit, paper. but this should work. Those vines look like they lead somewhere. Hope they're sturdy. Nope, nope. Oh god. Okay. Nope. Stop. Oh, I I okay, I missed that one. Alright, wait up there. And then we can jump. There we go. Did that. <laughs> Ow! <sighs> Yep, we can heal. 
healing stem. You're full of surprises. <clears throat> That's better. Thanks, little droid. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, uh. Okay. <laughs> Hop on board. And now he rides us for most of the game. B1, B1 uh, hails Cal when replenishes doing defense. I don't remember. I thought we were replenish forgetful droid. Can't argue with that. Oh, BD1 is like one of them. Yeah, BD1 is That's just such a cute droid. It's insane. I can feel it. I missed. I. I'm a genius. I'm, I'm a genius. There we go. Is it, is it, I'm just going to say this, for anyone wondering, is it just me or does the, 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 the tower thing look like, um, this, you know, look like the emitter of Cal's lightsaber? I can't make it over there. We got to find another way. Because I, 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 I remember looking, like, if I... If you look at the lightsaber right now, like look at the lightsaber there, like the bottom of the lightsaber, and then look at that tower. Sorry if you heard that. <laughs> I live in a busy street. That it, it it is it is it looks a lot like it. Okay, yeah, I'm at it. Yep. Elvet cannot be called from this. Uh, great. That's great. All right, the side. Token sense echo. This tool was used by someone eager to reach the vault. Jump. <laughs> I know. Oh, I can scan him. A bog rat. There's a bog rat. Where are you going? Did you find something, BD1? Pagano Dawn Poncho material. Ooh. Yeah. I like it. Um, I don't think I've got any. Uh, I don't think I have any. Yeah, I've got no regrets. Right, there's no, there's no really point because I don't need to rest because um, I don't need to replenish anything. Right, okay. So I need to go this way and climb up there. Oh shit! I'm not... <laughs> oh wait, hold on. This is where I. Had... Oh shit. Um. Oh, well, that's not great. Um... Shit. Is there a... No, there is that way I could probably attempt to go, but, um... Oh, wait. Can't I just go down this way? And then run over this way? Is there anything like... Okay, I don't think I've been over this way. Let's... Whoa! Okay! Stay away from them. Jesus. Oh, that bitch. Um. Oh. Scan them. Nice job. Uh, there. Huge. Okay, so. Oh, cool. Oh, shit, I want to get down there. Um, okay, no man, we'll get down there. Um, anyway, right, I need to find a way. Let's go up here. See if there's anything up here. Oh. The box. Ow. 
Yeah, sorry about your stuff, but standing up to that bog rat, pretty great. I got a new lightsaber sleeve, Valor and Wisdom. Um, okay. Right, I have no fucking clue where to go, so... Let's go up this way. And I'm back here. <laughs> okay. So, by process of elimination, I assume I'm not supposed to go this way. Why do I feel like I've got to go down... to that elevator? I'm gonna die if I drop down there. Or not. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Ow. I think that's an octo bog there. Dead now. Scanning again? Stim here. An octo. Right. I can't remember what an octo, which is different. The difference between an octo and an octo bog there. Aha! I found the right way. Subterranean refuge. One sec. I now have a. Skill, tr uh, skill point I can use. Um, so, I'm only gonna get Cal's maximum life is increased just because I feel like that's just more useful. Aha, it ups my health. Okay, that is better. Um, also, what I may as well do, just because I want more stim, is rest just to get more stim. Uh, now that might, mm, depending on where it was, it might. Okay, I'm assuming it did spawn it back in, I shouldn't see it. Um... Well, it's dead now. Uh, there should be an up. Yep, there's the other one. Parafish. I'm assuming that's what I've just killed. Oh, no, that's... I'm assuming what's in there. Anyway, let's, uh, oh shit, let's continue on. Let's venture forth. Um, to look for something. I don't know what we're looking for. Um, let's go this way. Okay. I've got to go down here because I can't wall run yet, so. See something in there? Here's where we're all wall running. Try again. It's difficult, Master. Yes, the path is difficult. It may seem impossible, but with persistence and the Force as your ally, you will overcome any obstacle. You will master any path. Now, do what you must to reach me. Yep, thank you. Run towards uh, ridged walls to run. Not oh, to wall run, okay. Good. Okay, Jara to pump. Yeah, so, fun fact, uh, not really fun fact. So, this will happen again. Like, we do constantly go back and have, like, little flashbacks of, well, you know, Cal's training by Jara to pump. Resistance and the Force is my ally. Just remembering old tricks. Think you can show me that shortcut again? Okay, now I can. Oh yeah, because now I can reach the uh, the, the 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 temple. Okay. That's the octo. Um, right, let's run through here. Hey! 
Something is in there. Okay, all right, let's go. Oh shit! Let's wait for the elevator to come back down so I can uh, go up there, and then we can um, die. <laughs> I missed it. I always miss these. Yeah, I missed it again! <laughs> I missed it. Fuck my life. How am I missing these all the time? Right, okay. Run to it. There we go. I made it this time. Fuck. Okay. Um, I don't remember which way it is, so that's not good. Oh, it'll be this way. Yes, it will be. Let's climb up here. And then we can wall run up to here. And now to the temple. Ancient oh to the vault, sorry. Are you see there? Oh it's on. We're not finished yet. Okay, okay, he probably would have won. Probably. Around here. I can scan something here. Good Inscriptions. Oh, it got very dark then, Jesus. Amazing. Here we are in the tomb. I think that's why this is. You're oh, we're in a vault, not tomb. Well done, whoever you are. You have passed the test I left behind and gained access to the vault and this recording, one of many encrypted logs stored in the droid. I am Master Ino Cordova. I may not know your name, but I know your purpose. The fate of the Jedi Order lies in your hands. This place, this vault, is a sacred temple built by a vanished civilization known as the Zephyr. Meditating here, I was granted a premonition through the Force, a vision of doom. I have placed inside this vault a Jedi holocron containing a list of the names and locations of young Force sensitives throughout the galaxy. Ahead you will find the inner chamber of the vault, but also another test. I can only trust this holocron to someone who has followed my path and understands. Seek out the hidden tombs of the three sages and learn to perceive the mysteries of the Force as the Zephyr once did. In this droid, you will find everything you need to succeed on this journey. Go to the Zephyr homeworld. There, you will find peace in the eye of the storm. Good luck, Jedi. And may the Force be with you. I guess you were the someone I was supposed to meet. You know, I've been alone for a while now. Without any purpose, just hiding. There's no way to live. Not for a Jedi. Or a droid. See where it was right. Maybe we're done hiding. Hey, you want to meet some uh, 
friends of mine. Alright, back to see here we go. We unlocked the destination of the planet of Zepho. I think I found what you wanted me to see. Sounds like you did. We'll be waiting. Okay, so we need to get to the ma okay. I keep doing that laugh. <laughs> right, the mantis is uh, right there. It's that white thing. Like, no, oh, it's it, right there. So, we need to. What are you scanning first? God, my frames like died for a minute there. Well done. Zepho had some interest in Dathomir. Strange. For such a peaceful culture to have any sort of fascination with a place so dark. Yeah, even now, like, why would you have a fascination with Dathomir? It's depressing. <laughs> so we unlocked Dathomir. Nice job. <laughs> okay. Um, may as well, instead of healing, we may as well. I'm seizing stem, we may as well just rest because. Just easy. Okay, we're gonna have to go this way because that zipline is down, not up. Because we can't go up ziplines, we can only go down them. I'm not a fan of the climbing in this game, like, it's a bit awkward is the climbing, especially when you have to press L2 to, like, actually grab onto it. There we go. Gotta watch out for the holes as well, because then you have, like, this little boss fight with- oh god, there's a hole. These little boss fights with, um... Bogdos and... So yeah. Let's go, BD1. There we go. I was questioning why you were hovering up uh, hovering, see. You passed the test. So you knew about BD1? Come on board. We'll talk inside. Oh, BD1, this is Grease. Hey Grease. What is that? <laughs> get off my sofa! Get, get off my sofa! Go! Get out of there! Get out! That is BD1. He's with us. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil stains out of petroleum meat fabric? Not really. Oh, I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Breeze. He did. Tell us, Cal. The vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A holocron from the archives. Contains a list of force sensitive children. The next generation of Jedi. I knew it! Ah, oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. A long time ago. I was his apprentice. Cordova was a loner. And that little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. A holo what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. Use the force. This thing, this bit's very cool. 
This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. With that list of Force sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. Okay, no problem. Let's get it! Well, except the Holocron is hidden deep inside the vault, and to get it, we have to follow Cordova's path. He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and a Zeppo homeworld. All right, well, where are we going? I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. Look, before we do anything, I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? I had an experience that changed my perspective. So I cut myself off from the Force. But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Cal, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. Are you with us? We're in. Dathomir is Zepho. It's your choice. I've never been to Dathomir in this game and I don't want to. Well, I have, because you go there later in the game, but, um, because there's a massive, there's a big boss fight there, but, um, yeah. But yeah, that Obi-Wan Kenobi little, little thing, oh god, Grease, why are you shot in darkness, bro? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, it's terrifying. If you're not ready to leave, don't bother me. All right, it was just question why you were shrouded in darkness. That's all, oh, Jesus. But um, that Obi Wan Kenobi thing is fucking sick. I, I was like, when I first played this, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, now you're thinking. Let's get out of here. Okay, so we can ever go to Zepho or Dathomir. Well, I'm gonna go to Zepho because, yeah. Let's guess let's travel to the planet. Grease, have you ever thought of redecorating? The Mantis? Why would I? Eh, wouldn't hurt to throw some art on the walls. Something new to look at. Since when do you care about art? I've always liked it. When I was younger, I used to pour through every piece I could find at the Jedi archives. Did you critique them too? I admired them. When I became a seeker, I got to see a few so many different cultures in the galaxy, and each one had their own unique works of art. It was breathtaking. S sounds up. <laughs> Apologies if um, if the things hurt in your eyes. It's it, you know, even in the in the movies, it always hurt my eyes looking at. It. This is just the little loading screen, the little play of the loading screen. To land. Think of a storm brewing down there. This might not be the best time to land. Yeah, something strange. Those winds are interfering with our comms. Hey, Cordova mentioned something about peace in the eye of the storm. Well, I can just make out a settlement in the middle of it. Then we have to get there. Copy that. So I'm happy with that. Oh. Couple bumps ain't gonna kill you, kid. <laughs> Unless the wind picks up. Can you tell that bucket of bolts to keep his opinion to himself? I'm sure everything's under control. Because it's under control, it's just a little tricky. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on! Oh. Huh. Perfect landing. <laughs> Greasy money, baby. Uh, but I'm still getting a lot of interference on the comms. It's gonna take me a minute to get them back up. I'll search for signs of Cordova in the meantime. Good. I'll be in touch once I crack this. Alrighty, uh, well, I guess that's what we're going to be doing in the next part, yeah. in part three, Over because, um, yeah. But we're going to end the video here. Um, hope you guys en uh, enjoyed the playthrough so far. I'm going to go record parts four, five, and six, I believe. Nope. Yep. Nope. 
I'm going to go record part 3, 4, and 5. Because I'm, I'm not stupid. Well, I am stupid, but... Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you all for watching. Um, if you guys uh, enjoyed the video, you guys uh, can subscribe. You don't have to if you don't want to, but if you guys want to, you can. Um, and uh, the socials in my description, you're going to find any of my uh, socials. They're in the description. You can follow my Twitch. I stream on there sometimes. Instagram, Sam and Friends. And then Instagram, Twitter, I'm semi, semi near enough active on there. If you guys want to drop by there, you can. Uh, but hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.